Hey everyone, this is Angela from Bake It With Love, and today we're making my best and my favorite soft batch chocolate chip cookies. My husband likes them crispy, but I'm the one baking. So, here we go. All your usual um, chocolate chip cookie ingredients, except for one secret ingredient, and we are going to start with whipping our butter in the stand mixer. If you're doing this by hand, go ahead and add your sugars and cream them together with the butter, and then we'll get going. So, we'll be right back. We've whipped together our butter, and it's three quarters cup or one and a half sticks of butter. Um, if you're using unsalted butter, be sure to add a little bit of salt, so about a half a teaspoon at least. If you like your cookies with a little bit more salt anyway, throw a pinch in on top of using the salted butter. So the next thing we're going to do is add our sugars here. Start with the brown sugar, not that it matters either order on this and the white sugar. And then we're going to cream them into our butter as I was pointing out if you're doing this by hand anyway. Okay, and use your spatula to scrape down the sides and make sure that you've got that bottom part there because otherwise you'll end up with uh, dry ingredients at the bottom of your bowl. And then I like to add the rest of my wet ingredients which is my vanilla and my egg and if I have salt I'll add it now too so it distributes evenly throughout my wet ingredients and I'm going to add my secret ingredient here which is cornstarch and my baking soda Now that is all of my wet ingredients are incorporated now with my butter and my sugar and I'll be adding my flour next and then lastly our chocolate chips which I have a mixture of chocolate chips and chunk chocolate and I like to use semi-sweet in mine that's just a personal preference. Now I'm using two and a quarters cup of my flour and I just add it all at once because I'm pretty sure that this is exactly how much I want because I'm not one of those people that's going to chill this. Uh, when I make chocolate chip cookie dough, uh, it's pretty much on demand for cookies right then. The only time I <laughs> chill a dough is around the holidays when I'm planning to bake special cookies to go out to friends and family, that type of thing. When it's for just a snack because my family feels like it, um, they don't have the patience to have it setting up overnight. Again, make sure you're turning everything in your bowl, that way you get all the dry stuff at the bottom of the bowl. You don't want a bunch of flour left down there. Look what we've got here. And then I'm using about a cup and a half of chocolate chips or chunks. Uh, somewhere between 8 and 10 ounces not quite a 12 ounce container of chocolate chips. You can always use more of course or you can combine some nuts into this if you want. That's personal preference. Now our oven is preheated to 350 degrees and we are going to get our chocolate chip cookies ready. The dough is a bit dry but we want it that way and it's going to come together when we roll it into our cookies. Using my standard tablespoon and roll my cookie into a nice round ball. Remember to place your cookies a couple inches apart on the baking sheet so that they don't end up running together. And you can choose to squish your cookies or not. I like to leave them round sometimes, other times not so much, but today we are. Um, we're gonna be back when we're finished getting these cookies ready to go. Okay, the first half of our cookies are ready to go in the oven. And the oven is preheated to 350 degrees now, so we're going to bake these for about 8 minutes and check them. So our fantastic soft batch chocolate chip cookies are all done 
and these stay just like you see them. They're nice and soft and fluffy and uh, perfect just the way I like them, not my husband. Mm, I have to do his chili slightly crispy, but um, this is my favorite way to make my chocolate chip cookies, so I hope you enjoy it. If you do, be sure to leave us a big thumbs up and let us know that you liked it down in the comments. As always, um, we love having you here with us, so be sure to subscribe. We have more fun stuff coming, including we're rolling into some more cookies. So if you've never had oatmeal molasses cookies, you have to try the next ones. We'll see you there.